the case has ignited questions here about how Scientology minds its own business. Scientology under siege. Well, in Germany, Scientology isn't recognised as a religion. In France, its leaders are facing fraud charges. In Paris, a court will decide if Scientology fraudulently manipulated a woman into handing over $36,000. The only purpose of Scientology is to take money from the people. The French prosecutor in the case is seeking to have Scientology found guilty and fined over $10 million and banned from France altogether. The French spokeswoman for Scientology was blunt in her assessment of the case. <laughs> Originally, four people were accusing Scientology of fraud, but two of them came to a financial settlement with the organization. The key woman at the center of the trial says she was walking past Scientology headquarters in Paris in 1998. She was approached in the street and offered a free personality test. What's that mean, D? She was humiliated and defrauded for a long time. She bought cases full of expensive books and cassettes, all cloaked in this goal of self-improvement to become this incredible person. Not surprisingly, the test revealed she had shortfalls, but was told Scientology had the cure. She claimed she was scammed into buying books, courses, vitamins, and even an electrometer, supposedly able to measure mental energy. Recall a moment of stress. Good. So then you thought about something there, right? Yeah. Good. What we say is simple. Do we continue to allow an organization to make a lot of money by using reprehensible, fraudulent techniques? Scientology says the case is one of religious discrimination, not the alleged fraud leading to members handing over their life savings. There's no witch hunt. France respects freedom. But even with religious freedom, France can't ignore people breaking the law. If you have religious freedom, you can't do things that are above the law. After a nine-year inquiry into the group, a French judge declared Scientology is first and foremost a commercial business. Prosecutors allege the director of Scientology in France, Alain Rosenberg, and six other top officials prey on vulnerable would-be followers with the goal of seizing their fortune by exerting a psychological hold. We were contacted by a woman here who claims she was recruited by Scientology as a child and manipulated to hand over vast sums of money. Now, when we contacted Scientology seeking a response to her claims, they told us she'd signed a confidentiality contract with them and they sent their lawyers scurrying off to court seeking an injunction on our story. But that's not why we're not showing you her interview. You see, her family contacted us asking us not to air the interview, and we agree with them. Her best interests should come first. This is a tragic case. Time and time again, we hear of these sorts of tactics being used. Federal Senator Nick Xenophon says it's time to re-examine Scientology's claims as a religion and to change the laws to force the group to start paying tax. We need to have a closer look at those laws because I think there's a lot of community concern that an organisation such as Scientology gets the huge benefits of having a tax-exempt status as a religion. Historically, they brand anyone who questions their organisation as religious bigots. This is not about religious bigotry. This is about accountability. And I think it's pretty cowardly for an organisation to start uh, accusing those that just want to question the way they operate, to make sure that what they do is transparent and accountable and fair. As always, the Church of Scientology declined our request to be interviewed. No doubt they'll be closely watching what happens in France. I think there is a role here for regulators, uh, for governments to have a very close look at these tactics because if they don't, We'll continue to see more and more of these cases emerging where people's lives have been destroyed because they've handed over their life savings, they've handed over their inheritances uh, over to Scientology. Now this afternoon a court ruled against Scientology in its attempt to stop us airing an interview with one of its ex-members. The church has also been ordered to pay Channel 7's costs and as Brian Seymour said, we've decided not to air that interview after the woman's family contacted us. Coming up soon.